Howdy, I'm Cyberax with Outlandishly Crafted, and today we're going to be talking about how to do a fuel or hunger or whatever system that you need to show a bar on the screen or you need to show information on the screen. So right here we've got this fuel gauge, fuel bar system. We're going to change it with a scoreboard. We're going to have uh, 1000s the max, 500s the minimum we'll go down to like 99 to show the low state and then we'll go all the way down to zero to show empty and then we can go back to 100 or sorry back to a thousand to show full and you can see the ship reacts um based on the fuel so the you know field of view change and all other kinds of things change but the key here is how do we get this fuel gauge that's just sitting here how do we have different stages that we can update that so let's get right into it let's jump over to our code and so let's just start right off the bat with having the um we're gonna have a function so the first thing we're gonna do is we need to get this zoom in bar to work correctly that's really stupid why <laughs> yeah okay whatever so we have this execute here and the execute is checking for the fuel of ourselves right now the ship is the player so we're checking for fuel if the fuel matches these different checkpoints then we're gonna fire off one of these four animations and in essence we just have four different animations we have a full animation a mid animation a low animation and empty so we would call these um checkpoints or key you know keyframe points or um how many steps steps is a good word how many steps do we want this to have so this has four steps if you wanted to have a thousand steps and you don't want to do it this way or if you wanted to have it really smooth you don't want to do it this way this is really for general alert status or hey we're in a yellow alert status or we're in red alert status or uh, this is the simplest way to do it so we have this function and this function is simply gonna fire off these animations so let's jump over and let's look at what well what are those animations so we have our ship in block bench we've got it set up here and in our ship we have one bone and this bone has its um, pivot point at the bottom of it and all we're gonna do is we're gonna scale this bone up and down so if we jump over to our animation and we look at our full status our full status shows full we click on mid status mid status shows mid we go to low low status shows low and it remember that there's layering here so when you take away this outer box of course then you can see the rest of it better but the, the bar still shows up right there and then you have empty status now i also have the lights going as well so these lights at the bottom light up um and those are just a cube that's moving out you know behind the hud and then forward it just goes forward and back inside that frame so like right here we have the bu the button which you can see so it's just got a little bit of a movement just so you can see that it's ticking right so it's saying oh there we go oh there we go and that's full and then we go to medium and the same thing we get a low and now low is doing the same thing and we have a, the button there and then the text is also moving a little so at low I want to try to get your attention so I've got a ye yellow light and I've got the text moving just a little but it's still the same thing and then empty it's just all the way at the bottom and all this is is it's just scale we're just scaling um, sorry not that one sorry no no not that one um, level 
all we're doing is we're just scaling it. So at full, um, it's all the way at mid. You can see we're at half, so it's halfway. And then at low, it's 0.1. And then at empty, it's 0 0.1. So it's still there, but it's not really visible. And, and so we just have four states. Now, if you were going to hook this up to something and you want it to be smooth, then I also made one for smooth. And that will be in a different guide for more advanced versions of this. But that would be the smooth version where we're going to have a 1,000 is here, 0 is here, and we're going to tie a query to it so that it moves exactly where it is and it will just be perfectly smooth the whole time. And that's what I'm doing for health and other things. Um, but for this guy, we want to keep it really simple. So we've got our animations. The animation's just scaling up and down the fuel, and, and it's just doing it on the bone. And all the bone is is just one bone here, and it just is scaling this up and down. And the key is that we have the pivot at the bottom, so when it scales, it goes up and down. Okay? Now next, we need to have this function it's firing it's checking for what the scores are of the fuel tank the fuel tanks how much it has so we need to fire this over and over and over so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a BPAC the behavior pack animation controller it comes in it says hey I'm going to transition I'm going to fire the function I'm going to wait an amount of time and I'm going to loop and this is just a simple looped BPAC. So it's looping, it's looping, and the amount of time it waits is one second. So every one second it loops around, it calls this function, and the function fires these animations. Now there's a downside to this. When you have something like this where it's the everything you see on the screen is in the player. Um, when you have something that's set up like this you can only fire one animation with a command BP at a time at an entity. So we can only of all of the numbers and all of the things you see on the screen, only the fuel system is being run with the command and a function because nothing else can be. They'll, they'll interfere with each other. So you can only run one of those at a time per entity. So everything else has to be in the RP or has to be done a different way. So just keep that in mind that whatever solution you're looking at, if you're just needing one bar, one thing on that entity, then this is fine. It's great for health bars. It's great for a food bar. It's great for whatever you want. But if you need to have a whole bunch of them, only one of them can work off the command and the function. Okay? So let's jump back. So we have the BPAC. That's this guy. And we have our animation. And just like a normal BPAC, we add that in to animations. And then we just fire that off. So this is just in the player's brain. Now you would put this in whatever entity you want this attached to. Um, but if you want it attached to the player, then we're in the behavior pack. And we're putting it in the animation just like any uh, BPAC. And that's just going to loop. So it loops. Every one second, it fires off this function. The function then um, plays the animation based on what the function is and so if we change the fuel level to 99 then you can see now it's been a second so it's playing that animation and you can see the yellow lights blinking that's just the other part of it now if I go to 500 then it was well, second has played and it plays the middle one if I go back to uh, you know a thousand plus then that would be full and then it's fine. If I go to zero, then it's empty. And both lights come on. The warning light and the red lights blinking saying, hey, you're out of fuel dummy. And that's it. So that's a basic setup for how do we do a, um, 
how do we represent information to the customer, or the player, in essence? So like a lot of times, we need to show information, like systems on the side. And if you're only looking to do um, so many steps, typically under ten, then this is the best way to do it: is just to easily fire off a function, and there you go. So thanks for watching. I'm CyberX with Alondishly Crafted, and this has been a guide about how to do all of these fancy easy side of the graph so this is more like a yellow oh no this probably isn't yellow it's probably like an orange mid-level uh four to six level um required skill to do this i probably should have set that up front so if you have any other questions uh put them in the comments uh, we always could use that watch time those likes and subscribes we do have a discord channel if you'd like to join us it's bedrock hd you can find those links uh, probably on the website or maybe in the description i'm not sure if i've put that out um you can always hit me up on discord or in one of the popular block bench or bedrock discord channels so if you have anything else let me know hopefully more guides to come check out our space game we're working on beyond human soul uh, you can check that out in the discord or on the videos as well